waste our diamond in the rough. Now you may be wondering why I decided to use two completely opposite objects to present my talk today, when by definition, waste is an unwanted, unusable material. But a diamond, on the other hand, is a precious stone, something of great value. The phrase diamond in the rough is often used when we're talking about uh, something that has unrealized and untapped potential. However, in its present state, that thing is perceived to have little to no value at all. Now, I wanna ask you a question. Do you know what our diamond in the rough is? You may be talking, you may be thinking that I'm talking about our beautiful people, our amazing natural resources, even our harbor. Albeit, those two have untapped and unrealized potential. But no, today I'm talking about our waste. Are they talk about we doti? We generate it every single day. And we do so more when we're consuming food. According to the World Bank, every single one of us sat here, every single one of us generate about half a kilogram of waste per day. And for a city with 1.2 million of us, well, you're looking at about 540 tons of waste being generated every single day by Fritonians. This may sound like a little, but for such a small city, that is a lot. And we're not even considered a middle-income city yet. Well, we all know what happens to that waste, right? It wastes away in our compounds, breeding mosquitoes. It gets burnt in our backyard, polluting the very air we breathe. It gets thrown away in our drainages, blocking the waterways, and flooding our city. But a small percentage, about a third of it, ends up making it to the landfill where it remains unusable, but uh, potential unrealized, just wasting. You and I, we the people, we Fritonians, can avert this from happening. Imagine our city using this waste to do something amazing with it. Hello, my name is Aminata Dumbuya Jar, and I'm a waste transformer. I wanna take you on my waste journey. I recall in 1980, growing up in our diamond city, Koidu Town, Kono District, and I can vividly remember every single morning, waking up, sweeping my compound, and just before going to school and doing the same thing in the evening. I can clearly still remember my auntie's voice calling out to us, Una don't sweep? Una don't to wait the na di bien ya doti box? Well, she would do this to remind us about the habit of being clean. But she would also do this because every Saturday morning, we would get a visit from the sanitary wardens. Now, later on in that decade, I would call California my second home. And I remember just easing in into the habit of keeping my environment clean because every Thursdays, the trash man would come with the trash tr truck to collect our separated, sorted waste. This was second nature. That's how it was supposed to have been done. In 2004, I repatriated to Sierra Leone, specifically to Freetown. This decision was spurred on by the conviction I had that I knew I could be instrumental and catalytic to the socioeconomic transformation that our country would undergo. Boy, was I in for a rude awakening. Now, I was dumbfounded when just within a few days of making such an ambi ambitious decision that I felt as though our city was under siege by filth. It was all over, blocking traffic, being burnt by my neighbor. In fact, I remember one morning waking and just almost choking on the fumes of dirt. But worst off, it seemed as though we had no plan in motion. 
that we were just reactive. We had the monthly ad hoc cleaning exercises. And right then and there, I knew it was apparent that our city had an issue to, to grapple with. Now, I thought to myself, okay, maybe this could be one of the reasons why I actually came back home. It wasn't until 2010 when the opportunity for me to work in the waste management uh, sector came up. Now, I was very apprehensive at first. I thought, yes, I can clean my compound, but that doesn't mean I'm a waste manager. But I was also excited. I was excited because this was an opportunity for me to have a platform through which I could contribute to shifting behaviors about waste management. Little did I know that down the line, some of you would refer to me as the trash lady or the waste lady. <laughs> now, might I say, that is one of the most important career titles that I carry to date. Being a waste lady has been very rewarding for me. I've been able to contribute to developing and devising a door-to-door -door household scheme for our residents. I've been able to work with stakeholders in the, in, the, in the sector to put together a framework to support the regulations of the sector. I've been able to work with our youths, enhance their capabilities, and help them with job creation. We can all attest that some work has been done in our city. Our city is visibly clean, thanks to our lovely mayor. <laughs> but there's still a whole lot of work to be done. I have some good news. My company, the Freetown Waste Transformers, is turning waste into energy, electricity, um, heat, and nutrient-rich fertilizer. And in the last year, we have been piloting our technology, which has enabled us to be able to um, to, uh, to turn this waste into electricity. So, but we're doing so with common sense and the use of a process called anaerobic digestion. Now, anaero anaerobic digestion is a microbial breakdown of food waste where it produces biogas, and that biogas is now trapped to create electricity. And so with this pilot, we intend to scale it in the coming years, in the coming year, um, it'll be scaled to about four digesters next year, but our entire project will be a total of 40 digesters being installed in respective areas in Freetown. And together, working with the, youth, the, the waste collectors and you, the citizens, we'll be able to take about 300 tons of organic waste away from our compounds, away from our gutters, away from our landfills, and turning it into about six megawatts of electricity, which will directly impact our energy access rates in the city. We will also be able to directly um, hire about 200 plus youths in the waste management sector, but more so would also be able to create uh, 60,000 60, liters of fertilizer. But more so, our city, our free town, will be known to be a thought, lead, a thought leader, an innovator, a city that is right at the forefront of mitigating against its changing climate. Now we can all be waste transformers, right? We all have to take basic, meaningful, and intentional steps every single day to participate in this process. Separate your waste, minimize your excesses, sort your waste, call a local waste collector for just a small fee to take your waste away. These are all the tangible things that we can all do as Freetonians. Because really, why waste our waste? Or why let our waste waste away? When we can use it to power up our community, we can use it to power up agriculture. We can use it to enhance the livelihood of our youth with job opportunities. And mostly, we can have a clean environment. Now, I want to say Sierra Leone has been known 
for horrible things, including blood diamonds. We have to change that narrative. We have the power to change that narrative collectively. And we can do so with the new kid on the block, which is our food waste, right? We have the opportunity to turn our dirt, our food waste, into the new green, clean diamond. Let our waste shine for us. Thank you. Thank you.